Jack, what's... You bought this from the Grateful Edge? No, no, no. Who'd you get it from? Gosh, I don't remember. I, I think I got it at a pit flea market. Look at that thing. It goes like this. And look at it sharpening that old knife there. And you got that at a flea market. Yep. Well, that looks like it's holding it at more of a 20 degree angle. Look at that. Well, thing. you can adjust it up and down. I haven't adjusted I just stuck the knife a in there. Is that a sharpener or a blunter? Perhaps. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite out of all these here? That one. Tell me about this one. I don't know. What it says is what it says. A perfect edge instantly. Blankers, blank, blanker, blankners, knife sharpener. You put it, it stands up, of course, but it looks better. Like, and you just put your knife in there and pull it through there. Okay. And this is all adjustable. So you can adjust it from a big knife to a little knife? Yeah, or, yeah, or a different spot on the stones. And it's a blankners, huh? That's what it's called. And then I don't know what all this... This does something. <laughs> I'm not sure what it all does. You just bought it, huh? Yeah, because I thought it was just really, really cool. Here we go. It's a blank nurse. Okay. But What's your next favorite here? Oh, this one. This one here, when you press on the stone, you put oil in the tank, and you press uh -huh. on this stone, there's a, there's, I'll show you. This here goes yeah. up and down. It pumps oil onto the stone from Mannequin P. And it's, it comes out of his little pee pee there? Yep. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then the I hope Myron will appreciate that. cover is like this. Oh, now he's in like one of those little French bathrooms, huh? <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> this is kind of complicated. I mean, it's weird. It's got a guide and you put it in there. And this is fun. There's a stone right there. Uh-huh. And you do it by hand. You oh. run it by hand and sharpen the knife. And it's the angle on this side, the angle on this side. That is pretty cool. But what's this one here? Well, this one you have to have put a wheel on it, and I didn't have a wheel to get on here. Okay. And this is run off a little electric motor and a belt, flat belt. Right. This is what's amazing. Two marbles and a piece of wire, and you just go like that. And that sharpens that edge. Really? And you... Think it works? Oh, I know it does. We used to have one when I was a kid at home, and I found this like, whoa, cool. <laughs> and then this one's pretty much the same thing, only sideways. Okay, I've seen things like that. I've seen them with handles. and Yeah, here's yeah. one with a handle. Okay, let me get a picture of that. What make is that? That's a... Americana. American Knife Sharpener. Okay. Patented February 23rd, 1892. When Columbus saw the... Oh, no. That oh, was no, 1492. That's like that. no, it's Here's another knife sharpener. You just, these wheels turn. You have a different place. And probably high carbon steel. Probably, huh? And that would cut it. That's a carpet layers sharpener. This is cool. This is for little steam engines to run. Runs off the belt on a little steam engine. That's to sharpen up little steam engines? Or? No, the steam oh, engine look at runs that. It's this. Got a nice little grinder in uh -huh. there. Sharpen the knife. Well, I like that marble one. I think that one's pretty interesting. It is. There. That that other one you showed me, the knife blunter. This one. No, the way back there. Oh, that one. Yeah. Where you can adjust it to bluntness. But my favorite one is if you have a knife, I'll sharpen it for you right here. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to pass on that one. Oh, come on. Live a little. Just a nice little white stone. Not up to that, it's upside down. I've been upside down a few times in my life. Yeah, well, most of my deals I am, my knife deal. Somehow I don't believe that. <laughs> this is for stone, for sharpening axes, made 
specifically for sharpening axes. Okay, let me get over there real slow. And that's for axes, huh? That's an arrow. It's got a brand name, or is it just... Uh, Pike made them. A lot of different people made them. I like this stone. This is, these are both natural. They're white and black. This one's got little footprints in it. Pretty. This is a nice old one. Very common kitchen tool. I have these in bigger sizes. But I didn't bother bringing those. And it's got little areas there where on both sides it collects all the dust, I guess? No. You put water in here. Oh, it's a okay. water wheel. So that's and the water wheel that gives you a wet line. Yeah. Yeah. And it no dust and you get a nicer sharpening. And the handle, you know, even this thing sure is a fancy little unit. That's for sharpening razors. Oh. Put it in there. Now is this a speed? Lay, hook the razor on the two pins. You got a box here. So that's it. Yeah. 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 And then you crank it and it goes around on these leather straps and sharpens the edges. Now is this any relation to Spiro Agnew? Oh, uh, it's his brother. Oh, okay. <laughs> Doesn't it look like him? Now what's this? This thing's big. That's yeah, just a flip stone. Two-way flip stone. Oh, okay. Some of them... Um, there. Oh, you gotta go like that. And flip it. There you go. And then I've got a three-way over there on my table for sale, the, the double stone here. Okay. And then just some different boxes. I like the idea. Look at the old, looks like a hotel bell. Yeah, you just pull the knife through it. It sharpens it. And then this is a little razor blade sharpener too, huh? Yeah. This one's for skizzers. Oh, let's look at that skizzer one. You keep uh, moving it. Are you doing this on purpose? Yeah, because you got a shadow in it. I'm okay. trying to get you out of the shadow. That's pretty cool. And this is when you were a young boy? What? That picture. I'm the, I'm the old guy. Come oh, on. you're the old guy. <laughs> I'm the old guy. <laughs> I think this one... That's for axes. I think this one with the little boy who pees oil. Yeah. That's uh, pretty cute. Let's look at the... Pretty cute. Oops, it's upside down. And that's the Delanceys, huh? Okay. You Go on, so. on. You say so. Automatic cone, Del Manco. Oh, and this was made in, made in beautiful Hayward, California. Oh, really? Down your way? Yeah. Automatic cone. And let's look at this thing. Close up? Oh, I've got a great close-up right now. That's quite a little oiler there. <laughs> I can tell you about a guy that prayed to God every night that he'd have one that hung clear to the floor. Uh-huh. And he kept doing it and finally God said, okay, I've had it. Tomorrow morning you wake up, your Peter will be on the floor. Yeah? He had half-inch legs. <laughs> All right, on that, I think I'm turning this off.